OK, Belgium-Slovakia <laughs> has finished. Slovakia have won 1-0. Uh, the ultimate smash and grab. Uh, Ivan Schrantz Shr uh, with the goal after seven minutes. That's good forward play, being there for the second phase. The keeper makes the save off the first shot. Schrantz is there. And it's a tight angle. I think the keeper could do better with his rebound control, potentially with spreading his body a bit better. But Schrantz, that's a good finish. Calm finish from a tight angle. It's 1-0. That's all the scoring. Um, Slovakia, what things I noticed about Slovakia, they got a good press, good work rate, good fitness, good teamwork. Uh, they have a bit of skill about them and some good technical ability. They look dangerous on the counter-attack. They can create chances. Uh, one thing with Slovakia, when the play's a little bit slow and there's a slow build-up of possession, no, it doesn't suit their style. They want to move it quick when they have the ball. Uh, so they were dangerous on the counter-attack. Belgium, talented team, bunch of individuals. Lukaku has missed a hatful of chances in the first half. He's had two goals ruled out for various reasons in the second half. One for offside, one for handball in the build-up. Both technically correct. We can debate whether the wording and the interpretation of the laws or rules um, is right and whether you know we need to just simplify things or go back to what the interpretations were like before VAR was brought in and get VAR to work to the rules, not the rules work to VAR. But, yeah, he is slightly offside for his rebound goal on 56 minutes. He's slightly off. Well, there is a handball in the build-up to the second Lukaku effort that's ruled out. But he was so wasteful in the first half. He's not even hitting the target in the first half. By the time he does hit the target, there's been infringements in, in the build-up of play. So, but... I didn't understand some of the tactical changes, dropping De Bruyne deeper. It made it easier for Slovakia to defuse the threat because Slovakia are quite a tall team. And when they're pumping long balls and, 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 and hitting it long and hitting in hope, basically route one, Slovakia are going to deal with that all day with their height and physicality. Um, then they bring Tielemans on. They move De Bruyne again. They Doku, I think, was good at times showing his pace but at the same time physicality physically wise like physicality Slovakia dealt with him Dubravka's had a good game in goal uh, even with the two two times he's pulled the ball out the back of the net even though they're ruled offside Dubravka's had a, a good game on the Belgian side of things as I say a bunch of individuals talented team not working well as a unit too many individualistic performances Slovakia you could say less talented. They're ranked a lot lower, but they worked well as a team. They worked with a good organisation, good press, good energy, good work rate, uh, very good on the counter-attack, uh, good distribution when they did have the ball. Belgium, sloppy, lethargic at times, misplaced passes. It just Something is not right with this Belgian side, and I think we've debated it before, and we've seen it before, divided dressing room, individualistic performances, the golden generation... Very similar to the golden generation with England for the best part of a decade and a bit in the, the 90s, into the 2000s, into the 2010s. Uh, a very divided dressing room. There is no doubt on the talent and the technical ability of a lot of these Belgian players. But they don't work well as a unit. And Slovakia, their performance reminded me of, of um, Greece in 2004 with a bit more skill. But honestly, that Slovakia performance today with the organisation and the work rate was very Greece-like in 2004 uh, with just a bit more technical ability. Um, and 2004, year of the underdog, Greece wins. I do think we could see some real big shocks, some big nations falling at the group stage, not even making it to the second round with how uh, the uh, opening uh, round of fixtures has gone. And that Slovakia performance, I think the, the Slovakian team can be proud of themselves. Um, I think Romania and Ukraine, I mean, Romania had a good start to their campaign. I think Belgium could be quite vulnerable. With how, if they play, Belgium play like that against Romania, they're in trouble. They are in trouble. Ukraine have got to play better. Um, Belgium have to play better. Um, Slovakia, with how they played, the Slovakia-Romania game is going to be quite fun because they both look like to counter-attack. And, and move the ball quickly. They're not as comfortable in long spells of possession, but moving the ball quickly and high press. That could be a very, very interesting game if that plays out how I think it's going to play out. But Belgium, not very good today. So there we go. Slovakia, done a bit of a smash and grab, but that was a good team performance. Belgium, poor performance, wasteful. Just not at the races. Um, you know, how fit is De Bruyne? Um, 
um, you know, how fit uh, is Tielemans, for example, because he didn't start, he came off the bench. You know, there's some key players who, who didn't quite look themselves today. Doku, you know, yeah, he's had an injury disrupted season. Um, you know, will will he start the next game? Because he, he didn't necessarily have the worst performance, but he didn't have the best performance. He was a bit mixed today. Lukaku, if he's their best striker, they are in trouble. But I'm going to leave that there. Place your thoughts on the game below, and I will have some more content for you guys very, very soon.